Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. 74 degrees. Expecting a high of 86 today. Partly cloudy. There's a lot of smoke in the air earlier this morning here in North Naples. There's a mulch pile that's smoldering way out east on Immokalee Road, causing a lot of smoke in the area. It's, there's actually smoke on the horizon up here to the north. You can definitely smell it in the air. There's Roy out there on the beach, that little speck. Still a beautiful morning, even though it's a little, still a little smoky out here. It's gonna be cloudy on and off today. Clouds are gonna get a little heavier later on today. The water temperature is 79 degrees. We're just about at high tide. High tide is at 8.23, I believe, here at Wiggins Pass this morning. Again, it's 74 degrees right now. Let's walk down to the beach. We'll say good morning to Roy. See how he's doing. See if anything exciting happened to him over the past couple of days. See if he got lucky and saw our dolphins out here. You never know. What's up, Roy? Yesterday. Something did something good happen yesterday? No. Something earth shattering. Yeah, every day. Every day. Good morning. Good morning. Every day something good is happening. Oh, absolutely. Every day is a glorious day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we know that. Oh boy. Well, how you been, man? Good morning. Good man. Boy, good. what a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, other than all that smoke. Woo! Wasn't yeah, wasn't that something this morning? It was really thick this morning. Wow, yeah, you could really smell it. <laughs> yeah, that's way out by Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary on Immokalee Road. It's a big mulch pile. Is that what's burning? Yeah, they, you know, that stuff just, you know, it heats up underneath. Uh, oh, the spontaneous mulch. combustion? Yeah, basically, Ooh. yeah. Wow. It's, you know, the, the decaying. Yeah. Start, and it starts smoldering and it's really hard to put the fire out. Oh boy. So it's huh. been burning now for a while. Yeah, yeah, you can smell it. That's about a week or so now. Yep. Yeah. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll blow away. How about, did you see any dead fish on the beach this well, morning? Well, they've been picking them up. There weren't too many and they've been driving by picking them up. So there's only a couple left up here they missed. And the so water looks, looks nice. That water looks nice this yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't feel a red tide in my no. eyes either. So yeah, that's what Bill said. Hopefully up the, the whole gate. thing is is getting uh, over with for that a while. That would be nice. Who it's, knows when it cranks up again? I don't it's know. It's been hanging around a long time. It seems, <laughs> this hasn't year. it though? Man. So how's everything going for you? You get your project done, did you? Well, one of them, yeah. I got a couple more to hey, keep good. going on. So, well, that's yeah. good. Slow but steady. Yeah. Well, Hollywood, here you come. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so, um... Dolphins. Did you see any dolphins in the No, past no dolphins. Months? Yesterday there was a couple up in the past, but today nothing. Uh, today it's so, look how flat that is Isn't out there. It, it is really calm. It'd be yeah, real yeah. easy to see a dolphin out there this morning. Yeah, and blue sky. Isn't it glorious? Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Well, the other day, Thursday when I was out here, everybody really enjoyed the opportunity to chat with you there to ask you some questions. So oh, really? Yeah, let's, <laughs> everybody wants me to do that again. So after I take my little walk, I'll catch up with you and we'll do that again. You gonna be around? Oh yeah, I'll be up by my tree right. probably reading. Got so, a good book to read. And so this, I, time, this time I want people to ask you questions. A lot of people were saying they love you and thank you for your service. Well, but sweet. this is their opportunity now to ask you some questions. And I'd like to hear, hear them ask questions about your past, you know, things, past. yeah, things. Well, you know, that's not that. Oh, uh, not necessarily your past, but things from the past. From I the mean, past. you've seen so many things. 
in your lifetime. So many oh. changes in technology. Yeah, there have been a few things. You know, and I, I'd love to hear those stories. The, the things you remember. Remember, you remember when you got your first TV? You yeah, I got couldn't your first, believe it. Your first radio? Your first... I mean... Well, it didn't... Yeah, we all used to group around the radio and listen. It was a Super Heterodyne. That was the name of the radio. <laughs> so super yeah. Heterodyne. I remember when we were kids and we'd all kind of got real close so we could hear it and there was Arch Obler's plays. We always listened to Arch wow. Obler's plays in the old days on the radio. That was a big there deal. There were so the many evening. radio shows and you used your imagination. You really <laughs> had to use your brain back in uh, those days. one radio show we used to listen to. I don't know the rest of them. But. <laughs> then when television came out, that must have been just... Well, then I, when I was a kid, I made a little crystal set. That was unbelievable. I used to... You'd put that little, little radio yeah. around on the crystal and uh -huh. you'd get different people, uh, amateurs, and I got my amateur license, and I used to talk to um, amateurs all around the whole world. Wow. That was interesting. Wow. <laughs> hey, you haven't seen any turtle tracks on the beach yet, have you? No. You know, the book I, well, Thor Heyerdahl, I was reading that about uh -huh. where he, with the Contiki, when he went out to the South Sea Islands on that balsa raft. Uh -huh. They had a red radio operator on that, and he fussed around, and he got a ham around the other side of the world Isn't that something that halfway skipped? around yeah. the world and all of the watts that he had it was no more watts than you'd have in a regular flashlight right that was the wattage and he got a ham on the other side yeah. of the world it's just amazing how it skips you know it from i can't the believe atmosphere it that small radio wave that would happen back when i was when i was younger cb radios were big fad everybody had these CB radios in their cars. Yeah, yeah. And every once in a while, they called it skip talking. You could talk to somebody up skip, from Florida yeah. up in Alaska. Yeah, skip, and it was skip talk. It was the craziest thing. Yeah, yeah. And those were only you know five watts or something. Yeah, the CB yeah. Radios. unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, whole thing. <laughs> There's so many miracles. It's just a delight to think about them. Isn't, isn't that it? the truth? <laughs> well, yeah. let's let's save this for later. This conversation. I got a little now, thought for you, too. Okay, I can't wait to hear that one. I was hoping you had one for us. <laughs> I think us. it's a kind of a good one. Oh, and here's a good one for you. Today's Earth Day, so happy Earth Day. Earth Day? Yep. This is when... Not your birthday, but Earth Day, huh? It's Earth Day. Earth Day, not <laughs> yeah. birthday. You got an Earth Day looking shirt on there. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty earthy. He's got the, the sharks and the sailfish. Well, I was hoping there'd be flowers, but then somebody said they were sharks. Yeah, they're sharks. I'm not too interested they're, in shark they're shirts. They're like you. <laughs> You're a land shark. Something's just jumping out here in front of us. Some big well, fish are just jumping there around. There's some out areas here. that are all frosting, and I was hoping to be a dolphin. But yeah. I think it was just a zillion little a fish. A lot of times when we see these fish jumping, the dolphin's yeah. on its way. I just saw one bunch of them jumping right out here. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> hey, yeah. look at those clouds, Rob. Oh boy, look at that. You know, that's that's a. I think that's a little smoke and clouds all mixed together know, down there. Still pretty blue skies. You can still see blue the skies haze, up above. Still Everyone's in love. Sing it, Roy. <laughs> Here's something else. <laughs> all right, let's see. Which way are you going, south? Yeah, for a little bit. All right. Well, I'll catch up with you. Heading Can't to the South Seas. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I will catch up with you in a little while. I'll look forward to All it, right. Rob. It's always we'll a have our, we'll you. Give you the We'll give you the camera, and we'll have our, your question and answer session. Yeah, we have a lot of good times and good chuckles. Captain Roy. <laughs> All right. I will catch up with you in, oh, whatever it is, a half hour. <laughs> To All it. right. I'll be here, hopefully. You, you're not going anywhere. Well, uh, hopefully, but there's no guarantees. <laughs> oh, you're right. There's no guarantees in life. There's only one guarantee, and we know what that one is. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. don't have to say yeah, it. We're not contemplating that guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only sure thing. All right. I will catch up with you. I'm going to probably get ahead of you here. Good All job. right. All right. See what I can find here. <laughs> some dead fish. That's a good one. Yeah, we'll see if we can find some shells along the beach here. Always fun chatting with Roy. We'll have another chat here in a little while. 
give everybody a chance to ask him some questions. 93 years old, and he's seen a lot of changes in his lifetime. So think of some interesting questions for him. It is really calm out here this morning. Just some tiny little ripples here, little waves rolling on the shore. We are just about at full high tide for today. We're probably 10 minutes away from high tide. Hmm. Look, and I'm walking along this little ridge line here. Seeing what I can spot shell wise. I haven't really, nothing's really caught my eye yet. I'll just go down a little further and turn around and walk back up the beach, head up towards Wiggins Pass. No signs of red tide this morning, that's great. Still smell the smoke in the air from that mulch fire. It's smoldering way out in East Naples by Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary out on Immokalee Road, way out there. There's a look back up the beach looking north. cloudy on and off throughout the day today. Sun's trying to peek out through the clouds. It just can't do it. it hasn't made it its way through the clouds yet today. There's a little snowy egret out in the water up ahead of me. Darn it. There's somebody left a big old hole on the beach. People, please, please, please do not do this. We're getting into sea turtle nesting season. These are a huge hazard for the sea turtles obviously a hazard to people but now we got the sea turtles coming ashore we don't want them falling in those holes and getting stuck so please fill those holes in spread the word let people know about it be nice about it a lot of people don't realize the sea turtles nest here on the beach so please don't leave holes like that I've actually seen our friend Roy come out here, hit dark, making his walking up to the pass and fall in the hole like that and almost kill himself. So please be considerate of others. When you're making your sand castles, have all the fun you want, but fill in those holes. There's a beautiful little snowy egret. How's the fishing, buddy? water is absolutely gorgeous this morning nice and clear look at that it's hard to see the sun's not shining but that is beautiful and here's this this ridge right along here that's where you're gonna find some if you're gonna find them this ridge right along here that's where you're gonna find the sharks too. Lots and lots of little shells down here. This 
This will be a great morning to do some shark tooth hunting. There's not a lot of waves. It's pretty easy to see down here. There's so many little black stones though. You really gotta have a sharp eye to find those shark's teeth. I have just never had any luck finding them. I don't know why. You can see that ridge right there in between the waves. That's where they accumulate. Hmm. I would love to find a shark's tooth this morning. Send me some good karma. <laughs> Well, absolutely beautiful. Well, nothing yet shell-wise. Hmm. A little mossy arc. It's one of our common shells. We see a lot of those, these mossy arcs. I'll go to a little further south and then I'll turn around and head back up the beach. Keep my fingers crossed. There's been quite a few people out here already shelling. Hopefully they left something nice for me. <laughs> it's probably about 74, 75 degrees now out here. The water temperature's still 79, almost 80. Really calm out here this morning. How flat that is. That golf is flat as a board. You can see the dredging barges out there. There's one out there and there's another one way down there. That's looking north. A little smoky. You can smell the smoke in the air. sun is up there behind the clouds, right up there in the center of the screen. You can see the yellowish color, that's from the smoke. There's an interesting little kitten's paw shell. It's a nice little kitten's paw. Hi, Linda. Looking forward to you guys getting back down here. Hey, you didn't get lost. No, not so far. Any hugs? Yeah, I got a good one from Elsie. Elsie? Yeah. Is that the only one you got yet today? Yeah. Just yeah. one hug. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Get out to the beach. Roy needs some hugs. <laughs> it keeps them going. <laughs> well, it's always a delight, but uh, it's so beautiful down here that uh, hugs or no hugs is glorious. It's still glorious. You got that right. <laughs>
Well, I, I get a hug from Mother Nature. There you go. <laughs> Can't well, beat that. Well, when I get back up there, I think maybe we've got to play that harmonica. That seems to attract the dolphins. Oh, that's the thought. Yeah. <laughs> we got to figure out what song. It seems like there's a certain song when you play it, the dolphins would show Coming up. around the mountain. <laughs> I have to change the words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be back. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. All right. Good to see you. Yep. Remember, we're going to give everybody a chance to chat with Roy here. On my way back at the end of my beach walk this morning. So start thinking of some great questions for him. He's 93 years old. He's seen a lot in his lifetime. So if you want to ask him anything about history, those would be some fun questions. A lot of broken shells on the beach this morning. Not really seeing anything here. I'm going to turn around here in a minute and start heading back up the beach, head north up towards the pass. Right now I'm in between areas three and four. If you're just tuning in, if you're new here, I'm at Del Wiggins Pass State Park, which is in North Naples, Florida. morning well here's a little pile of shells on the beach let's see if there's anything in here maybe a worm shell a lot of little shells lots and lots of little ones what is that That's an interesting shell. I don't know what that is. Wow. Some kind of clam shell. Interesting. Let's see what else we got down here. Yeah, there's part of an old jewel box. You find lots of these jewel box shells. It's half of a jewel box shell. Pretty, no beautiful pink inside. Look at the color inside that shell. Wow. The jewel box. It's gorgeous. Another little kitten's paw. That's just a plain white kitten's paw. These are pretty abundant, these kittens' paws. What else? Another piece of a jewel box. See what is buried down in here. Hmm. Well, nothing that I want to add to my collection. Some beautiful shells, though, by all means. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's always beautiful shells to be found. Everywhere you look. I just look for the things that I don't have now or nice specimens of the more interesting ones. Hmm. 
there's a good chance I missed something too. I mean, you really got to take your time when you're looking through these piles. There's always something neat out here. This little piece of it, this jewel box, still has some of its little spines, its little bumps. This was probably a spiny jewel box. You can see the little bumps on it. They get little spines. They look like little porcupines. But they're really fragile and they break off very easily. So when you do find one, it's definitely a keeper. Let's go a little further down the beach, then I'll turn around. Oh, here's something. I hope it's alive. A little sea star. We'll put that back in the water. I hope it's still alive. It looks like it's dead though, unfortunately. That's sad. A little five-armed sea star. Yeah, it's not moving. His legs are almost crystallized. What a shame. But I'll return him to the sea where he came from. Poor thing. Poor little guy. Well, I'm going to turn around, head north, walk right along the edge of the water out here. Maybe even walk in the water. It's really nice and clear, the water. We are at high tide right now. bit hazy from the smoke. I'm going to take a quick picture. Bear with me for a minute. Don't go away. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's beautiful out here. I'm looking as I'm walking here, looking for something. Something interesting to pick up and talk about. Just... You see anything down there? See how all these shells just kind of accumulate along this ridge? That's so neat. All kinds of little pieces of shells. Little kitten's paw down there. Just 
gonna mosey north here. Mosey on up the beach. This beach is always changing shape and size. You can see that little ridge up there where some of the beach has been eroded away. See that ridge there? The beach just comes and goes. Sometimes we have a storm, it dumps a lot of sand on the beach. Other times it washes a lot of sand off the beach, away from the beach. So it's a give and take. They pretty much just let mother nature run her course here. Jump back up on the ridge here. Give you a look around again. Take a look out into the gulf. The sun's breaking through. See the reflections on the bottom here. Nice and clear today. No signs of red tide. We do have smoke in the air. If I zoom in here, you can really see. See how hazy it is as we look down to the south? That's smoke. There's a mulch pile way out on Immokalee Road out in eastern Collier County by Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary. It's been smoldering now for quite a few days. And the smoke's been pretty heavy at times up here in North Naples. You can see how thick it is down there. You can barely see the condos through the smoke. Yeah, let's keep walking up the beach. I'd love to see a dolphin. We have not seen those dolphins on our beach walks for a while now. They're out here. Just don't know when they're coming by. Don't know what their schedule is. The water is absolutely gorgeous right now. Look at that. Beautiful. Expecting a high of around 86 today. Really starting to warm up in southwest Florida, that's for sure.
Not seeing anything out in the water here. A lot of times we'll find some live fighting conks out here. Not seeing anything this morning. Very quiet. Not many shells either. I am going to give everybody a chance to ask Roy some questions again at the end of my beach walk this morning, so you definitely want to stick around for that. Roy is our 93-year-old friend here. He's been coming here for, oh, over 20 years. He's seen a lot in his day, so if you got any questions about history or things he's seen in his life, the changes he's seen in his life, you're gonna have a chance to ask him some questions in a little while. The water is very shallow here, even though it's high tide. It's about up to my knees here. Gonna move out into the water a little ways. It's actually gonna get a little shallower as I get further out. Maybe we'll find something on the sandbar out here. Or maybe something will find me. <laughs> you never know. Eh, it's about knee deep here. I thought it was going to be a little shallower. Huh. Not really seeing anything out here. Beautiful though, the water is really nice. Thought maybe I'd find some sand dollars or something out here. Maybe a sea monster. This water right here where I'm standing, you can see how far off ashore I am. It's just up to my knees. And the dolphins actually swim in this shallow of water. They'll come right up to the beach. It's amazing that they can swim in this shallow of water. I'd love one to come up here right now and bump into me. <laughs> Gorgeous view from out here as we look up the beach. I'm gonna take a photo of that. Bear with me, don't go anywhere. The connection gets interrupted for a minute when I take a photo, so stay tuned. Okay, I am back. Sorry about the interruption there. See how clear it is. Look at that water. See the reflections down there? Isn't that gorgeous? You never know what you're gonna find out here. Some mornings you'll find all kinds of little critters running around in the sand, little crabs and snails. Find live conks out here. You just never know. Every day is different when you come to the beach. Every morning. But one thing is guaranteed is it's always beautiful, no matter what. Even if you don't find any big shells or big sand dollars, sea stars, see any dolphins, it's still beautiful. Right here, the water's below my knees, really shallow here. Maybe a foot deep. I think I'm gonna 
head back up onto the beach. See some little fish swimming around me. Little tiny fish, that's a good sign. There's a, little, a whole little school of fish over here swimming around. I'm gonna get up on the beach though. Let's see if there's any interesting shells over here. Nice little breeze starting to blow. Hopefully it'll blow that smoke out of here. There's a nice little line of shells at the high tide mark here. The tide's starting to turn now, head out. I'll just walk along as I usually do, babbling and rambling and see if something catches my eye. Anybody planning on coming to the big Cinco de Mayo party at Felipe's up in North Naples? It's going to be a blast. Live music all day. I think there's going to be five different bands there. A really good mariachi band. Some really good Latin music. Good mix of music, though. need to check out that event scroll through my posts you'll find that here on southwest florida television the cinco de mayo event at felipe's saturday may 5th look at this water absolutely beautiful out here look how clear that is holy smokes wow Gorgeous morning. It's finally starting to break through the clouds. It's going to be cloudy on and off all throughout the day. Right now, that clouds making an the sun. The sun is making an appearance. This is the north end of Area Four Beach. Gorgeous. I'm going to take another picture. Bear with me. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Just admiring how clear the water is here. No signs of red tide today, thank goodness. And some big little fish. School of fish in front of me. Just ahead of me, hard to see with the ripples. All around me, all kinds of little fish swimming around me right now. That's so cool. Look at that water. You can hear the ospreys calling out in the background.
you just no here's a piece of a pen shell just the bottom little bottom piece they are so beautiful the pen shells look at that iridescent color isn't that beautiful the pen shell isn't that beautiful the colors it's like rainbow colors I get some light on the other side of it it's just the bottom just a piece off the bottom of the pen shell but what beautiful colors iridescent color that is so cool if you're just joining us we're up in north naples florida at del norwegans pass state park there's a mile of beach here all unspoiled no homes or condos along the beach Absolutely gorgeous today, nice and clear. I haven't really seen a lot of shells, collectible shells, at least shells that I want to add to my collection. There are quite a few shells along the beach. There's always shells. Just nothing that I don't have already. Let's see, did I see a little worm tip somewhere? usually always see worm tips. There's one. One little worm tip. The tip of a worm shell over here. Kind of a small one. Well, actually, here's a really small one there. Look at that. There's a little tiny worm, wormy right there. Two worm tips. There's a little baby cockle shell. It's a nice little cockle over here. Little baby cockle shell. These are fairly common, the cockles. You can find some pretty big cockles here. I'm just gonna keep walking up the beach for a little while longer. You never know what we're gonna come across. Just love soaking in the beauty out here. Oh, here's a beautiful little fighting conch shell. Oh, it's got a hole in it. That's kind of cool looking. That's a baby Florida fighting conch. An empty shell. We never take any shells home that have a living animal inside of them. A hermit crab, a conch. One day we picked up a conch and it had a little baby octopus in it. That was pretty cool. It actually stung Roy. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to find here at the beach. People find sea glass here. They find some really interesting fossils. All kinds of neat rocks here. You never know what's inside these rocks. Oh, here's a fossilized oyster shell. slipper shell. We find a lot of these slippers on the beach. They're smooth on the outside. And when you flip them over, see how it looks like a little shoe or a little slipper, a little bedroom slipper? The slipper shell. Hey, be sure to Check out Nonstop Naples Facebook page. There you'll find we post oh different things to do in town, activities, restaurants, you know, shopping. Here it's mostly the beach. Nonstop Naples is more for the other things to do in town in Southwest Florida. It's more exact Naples. Look at these slipper shells. I said they were common. 
Look at this. They're just everywhere, these slipper shells. There's a handful of them right there. There's four slippers just laying right there on the beach all together. The slipper shell. You can hear the ospreys up in their nest up there. Hard to see them. The nest is right up in the top of that tree. It's usually hard to see them. They bury themselves down in the nest. That's up in the north end of Area 4, the osprey nest. We do have a mating pair of osprey there. right above where Roy sits. Friend Roy. Roy's hiding out under the shade of the old pine tree. I don't know if you can see him sitting up there. We're gonna check in with him in a little while, right there by my finger. I'm gonna give you a chance to ask him some more questions. I'm just gonna hand the phone to him and let him answer any questions you might have for him as best you can. Keep it clean sensible and I'd really like you to think of some interesting questions to ask him things about his life he's seen a lot 93 years old so think of some really good questions for a 93 year old man think of all the things all the changes he's seen throughout his life in technology and science there's a little cockle Here's a little piece of worm rock. Just a little tiny, tiny chunk of worm rock. It's so neat looking, the worm rock. You see the little worm tubes. Worm rock. Hey, be sure to hit that share button. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful little scallop. These little scallops are everywhere. I see a lot of these. These are very common. That's about the, that's the average size of them. Also, right there, these this particular type of scallop. There's so many interesting things on the beach. Looks like a giant kitten's paw. Wow. Let me give you a look up and down the beach here. This is looking north. Up in North Naples, Florida, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. This is looking to the east. This is north. The beach primarily runs north and, and south. Nice and calm out in the Gulf of Mexico this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. The water is just really nice and clear this morning. Look at that. Look how clear that water is. Beautiful. Look at those colors, the blues and the greens. Absolute paradise out here. It is possible to find shark's teeth here at the beach if you're into collecting shark's teeth. You can find them. They're not as common or prevalent as they are a little further north, up towards Venice, Venice Beach, up to the north of us. But you can find shark's teeth here on the beach. People have found some really nice ones. Some really big ones. Kind of a quiet morning for shelling. Let me 
pounds of bird feather, probably from, this looks like it might be, probably from a gull, maybe a sandpiper. It's pretty dark. Beautiful little feather. I found a really nice osprey feather right under the osprey nest on the ground one day. Really nice big one. Beautiful feather. Looks like a little, what is this down here? Another little, little tiny fighting conch shell. You get a little light on this. Walk up a little further. You can see the inside of it, which is kind of cool. It's a little baby Florida fighting conch. There's some light. It's amazing how much they change color as they get bigger. This is a little baby Florida fighting conch. Come on, focus. Very tiny. Now when I flip it over, look at that. Ugh, hard to hold it steady. Hang on. Get a great look inside of it. That's a great look inside of a little baby Florida fighting conch shell. Isn't that cool? Can you imagine the little conch wrapped up in there? All twisted up in that shell. How cool is that? Beautiful calm morning out here. This is an excellent morning for walking out right along the edge of the water here looking for shark's teeth. That's where they tend to accumulate is right along the ridge here. Water is nice and clear. A lot of fish, that's what these people are looking at. There's a lot of fish jumping out here in the water. Little fish. Got all kinds of fish here. You see a lot of sheephead and drum, and mullet, snook, catfish. A shark or two on occasion. Boy, last year I got some great video. We had the nurse sharks that were migrating along our shore. All the baby nurse sharks, just little one foot, maybe four foot in size. Did get some video of them. While I was videotaping the nurse sharks, they were a beautiful spotted eagle ray came by. That thing's beautiful. I need to scroll through my videos and see if you can find that. Use the keyword eagle ray nurse shark when you're searching my videos check out some of the dolphin encounters Roy and I have had just incredible right up close to shore on the beach this is neat little they call this a twisty it's what's left of a fighting conch shell little spiral stem from the inside of the shell. They've nicknamed, these have gotten a nickname Twisties. Pretty cool. Good morning. What a 
gorgeous day here and it is really warming up. I hear an old plane flying ahead here. There's an old biplane flying by. There's no way I can, I'm gonna be able to see it here. I got too much glare. Too much glare on my screen. I don't know if it's up there in my shot or not. biplane flying by. What do we got over here? It looks like an old banded tulip shell. Piece of an old banded tulip. Yep. Just the top of one. What's left of an old banded tulip shell. Those are beautiful shells. Love to find a nice specimen of one of those. Banded tulips. You know, when you hear me, when you see me pick up one of these broken shells and I give you the name, you should look it up, Google it, and see what they look like. The banded tulip. Absolutely gorgeous shells. The Florida fighting conchs. Crown conchs. Those are beautiful shells. Alphabet cones. Some of the neat shells you can find here on the beach. Worm shells. Here's a piece of a worm shell. Just a little spiral from a worm shell. These can be, oh, up to a foot long, sometimes even longer, but they're very fragile. That's just a little piece of a worm shell right there. sure to let everybody know where you're watching from if you're new to the group here new to our beach walks we're kind of like a family here everybody just kind of has their little conversations going in the comments section while I'm walking along the beach it's just a peaceful way to spend the morning I don't have a set schedule for doing these beach walks. It just depends on my work schedule and the weather and my attitude, I guess. <laughs> if I want to go to the beach. I always want to go to the beach, though. There's some fish jumping around out here. I see a school of fish out in front of me. You can see the barges, the dredging barges out in the background. I don't know if you can see the water rippling out there or not. A lot of times those fish jumping around like that, the dolphins will come in and start chasing them. Look at that beautiful flock of birds. I don't know if you can see them out there. I cannot see anything on the screen. There's so, so much glare on it, but there is like a school of fish right out in here swimming around. They were just jumping out of the water. our wide mode here. The screen has gone dark out here. Hmm. Start trying to save the battery. I don't know if Roy's going to be able to see the questions. There's another beautiful little cockle shell, I think. It's a nice little white cock, white and pink. Cockle shells. You can tell the cockles, they have these ridges. That's a small cockle. You can find them the size of your hand out here. A lot of live cockles, too, out in the water. Another little kitten's paw. These are always, these are common. A 
A lot of people that like, love cats, collect these, the little kitten's paws. Well, there's another big hole somebody left on the beach. Shame on them. Please, 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 if you come out to the beaches of Southwest Florida, please fill in any holes that you dig. Sea turtle nesting season is just around the corner. We don't want those babies getting caught in the, falling into these holes. Here we have loggerhead sea turtles that nest on our beach. Unfortunately, Last year's storms and then Hurricane Irma destroyed a, a lot of our sea turtle nests. Some little sandpipers over here. I think these are called plovers. I'm gonna go up just a little bit further and then turn around, walk back down and talk to our friend Roy. I'll let you chat with him. If we can see the screen, hoping he can see the screen. It's very dark. This is the north end of Del Norwegans Pass State Park. This is where you come if you want to do some fishing. No fishing allowed in the south end of the park, just the north end. No swimming allowed up here in the north end. If you're curious about the red tide, I'm not feeling or seeing any signs of it this morning. Huge plus. Beautiful, the water is gorgeous out here this morning. 79 degrees, that's the water temperature. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the reflections, isn't that gorgeous? See that ridge right along here? That's where a lot of the seashells collect along this ridge. Seashells and shark's teeth. Well, happy Sunday, everybody that's watching. Be sure to hit that share button. Be sure to like Southwest Florida Television. Also, be sure to click on the get notifications button there so you'll know when I go live. So you won't just stumble across my live feeds, my live beach walks. something really interesting these are this is we have these trees up here called I call them shell trees it's just dead sea grape trees that got knocked over from Hurricane Irma now this tradition has been going on for a long time but Hurricane Irma knocked a lot of our shell trees over and people are just starting to hang new shells you can see these shells on the trees people hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away so it's kind of a neat idea.
A lot of people will also hang a shell and, and say a prayer or they'll make a wish. But a lot of these shells you see were hung in memory of a loved one that passed away. There's a cockle shell that I hung up here oh, earlier this week on Thursday. Right there. We hung that for our Facebook friends. That shell right there. That little cockle. Aren't those colors beautiful? The blues and the greens. A little hazy though. There's a little smoke in the air. Way out in Eastern Collier, out on Immokalee Road, out by Corkscrew Swamp, there's a mulch fire. This pile of mulch has been smoldering now for about five days, six days, I don't know. Today, the smoke was really bad in North Naples. Not sure where the mulch is, is from, but I'm guessing it's from the debris from Hurricane Irma that they picked up and mulched. I mean, there was just, it was incredible. The amount of debris that lined the streets after the hurricane back in September of last year. Irma really took her toll in Naples and the Florida Keys, Marco Island. You can see these are trees that got knocked over. All these trees used to, we had beautiful sea grapes. That, it was like walking through a tunnel, a canopy of trees that arced over and the water would just come up to the base of the trees and you know, it was maybe just a couple inches deep and you'd walk through the water under this canopy of trees up here. Now, thanks to Irma, they've all been knocked over sad. That's how Mother Nature works. Nothing we can do about it. Don't try to interfere with Mother Nature by any means. Just let her do her own thing. She knows what she's doing. Well, here's a nice little scallop shell down here, I believe. It's upside down. Let me see. Well, almost a whole scallop shell. piece of it there on the side. Here's another little fighting conch, Florida fighting conch shell. This one's almost white. Little baby Florida fighting conch. an old Florida fighting conch, a bigger fighting conch, but that one's old and worn out. Yeah, it's got barnacles up on the top. It's an old Florida fighting conch. Next to it there is the little baby. This is Wiggins Pass, just ahead of me here, where you see this inlet up here. Part of the namesake of the park here, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Absolutely beautiful Florida State Park. Real easy to get to this place. If you're on I-75, you get off at exit 111, exit 111, which is called Immokalee Road. You go west on Immokalee Road. There's actually signs that point you in the direction of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. But you go west, you just go all the way to the end, and dead ends at the front gate of the park. Couldn't be any easier to get here. Here's another scallop. Let's see, this is a whole one down here. Yeah, that's a whole little scallop shell. That's a beauty right there. That's a nice looking little scallop. It's a nice looking shell. Got lots of different kinds of scallops on the beach, different sizes, different colors. There's another one, a little one. 
smaller scallop shell. Two scallops. I'm just going to get up to the end here, snap off a photo of Wiggins Pass. Then head back down the beach and have our little chat with Roy. Give you a chance to ask Roy some questions. Remember, Roy is a 93-year-old Navy veteran. Lives here in Naples. He's in World War II and the Korean War. He was a communications officer. Great guy. He's been coming out here to the beach for 20 years. I just met him out here at the beach and we became friends. He gets a big kick out of this Facebook stuff. I'm gonna give you a chance to ask him some questions here in a little while. Look at those colors. Is that not beautiful? I think I have to take a picture of this here on the way back. Welcome to Southwest Florida. Our little piece of paradise. A lot of shells down here in front of me. It's gorgeous colors there. Bear with me, I'm gonna take a quick photo. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back. Just gonna get a little closer to the end. Give you a view, quick look around at the view. Take another photo. Turn around and head back down. Not many fishermen up here. Quiet fishing morning. A lot of mornings, this whole beach will just be lined with fishermen all the way out into the water here, all the way out along the shoals here. Very shallow. Beautiful colors though, isn't it? Gorgeous. Those blues and greens. That's the Coquihatchee River, looking up the Coquihatchee. Wiggins Pass is the mouth of the Coquihatchee. Gorgeous. We're on the other side of the pass there. Dolphins swimming out here in the pass in front of us. On a clear day, you can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. If you look closely, you can see the condoms going all the way up the shore there. Whoops, sorry about that.
sun's gone in behind the clouds now. Losing those vivid colors. Now let's head back down. Head back down south, back to where we started. It's a great stretch of beach here to plant your chair and umbrella and watch the fishermen, watch the boats. Maybe get lucky, spot a dolphin or two. can't swim up here at the north end of the park. No swimming. I was hoping for that sun to come out nice and bright. It's just kind of under a little thin layer of cloud cover. Kind of mutes all the colors. off anyway bear with me all right Ugh. I said he's going to play a tune for us on his harmonica before our little conversation, our little question and answer session. Now the sun's coming out. Sorry about that, somebody was trying to call me here. These gorgeous colors there. Those blues and greens are just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Gonna snap off a quick picture, bear with me. Here's the yoke on back. It's going to be partly cloudy throughout the day today. Looking at a high of 86 here in Naples. The sun's just going to be coming in and out from behind the clouds. A little bit of a breeze.
just walking south now. If you're just joining us. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group here. Got some great friends here on Facebook. Looks like some people getting ready to take their kayak and paddle board out. Really nice day for kayaking and paddle boarding. Really calm out there. Very calm. A little rippling in the water. That's a school of fish right out there. It's a bunch of fish schooling right in there. We can zoom in a little bit. You might see him jump out of the water. Yeah. Every once in a while you see a little splash. Hoping the dolphin would come in and chase him. Gorgeous out here. Absolutely beautiful. The water's Nice and clear this morning. A lot of people out here enjoying their morning, their Sunday morning at the beach. You can look at that water. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how clear it is.
Good morning. Good morning. It, it is gorgeous. The water is so clear today. <laughs> this is definitely paradise. Again, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. A mile of beautiful beach here. All left in its natural state. No homes or condos along the beach. They just let Mother Nature run her course. You can see we've had a lot of erosion here. They don't really do anything to renourish the beach. It just comes and goes. Sometimes a big storm will come and wash the beach away. Sometimes it'll dump tons of sand back on the beach. So it's just a never ending cycle. Beautiful colors though, those blues and greens. The Gulf of Mexico is naturally, it's like an emerald green color and it picks up the blue of the sky. Absolutely beautiful. As we look back up the beach, stand by, I'm gonna snap off a photo. Well, sorry about it, somebody's texting me here. I gotta get moving. Just about up to our friend Roy. We're gonna have a little question answer session with him, let you ask him some questions. Boy, I hear the Ospreys calling. There's several males flying around the Osprey nest here. there's a plane in the background but that's the sound of an osprey that chirping Let's see if I can show you the osprey real quick come around get some sunlight on it if we're lucky I think he took off. He was up here above my head. He was up in that tree there. Where is he? He's got his butt towards me. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Oh, he's just fluffing his feathers. Where is he? I can't see him in the screen. It's so dark. Up higher. Where is he? He's up in there somewhere. I can't find him in the screen. There, it's so dark. He pan up to the top of the tree. Slowly come down. You guys can probably see him, I can't. The screen is just so dark. I don't know where he is, he's up there somewhere. I apologize. I cannot tell where I'm looking at, hang on. Let me find, get a landmark here. This. There, that branch. I apologize for the stupidness there. I cannot see him. There he is. I think, is that him up in there? Yep, there he is. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Well, there's the osprey. One of our ospreys. Not a very good look, he's up there in the branches, but anyway, I got to get back over here and chat with Roy for a few minutes, give everybody an opportunity to ask him some questions before I take off.
There he is, up under the old pine tree, the shade of the old pine tree. How's that book coming, Daddy? -o? Hey, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah? Yeah. So you got some moon palm music going on. A little bit. It's so low I can't hear it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they just were walking by with a little, little girly girl up the yeah, scene. Yeah, lots so of kids cute. here on the weekends. <laughs> oh, boy. So cute. <laughs> well. Quite a book. I thought, I thought we'd give everybody a chance to ask you a couple more questions. I like questions. Yeah. I don't know if I have the answers, but I like good questions. That shows people are thinking. There you go. Well, I'm going to turn the camera over to you. Well, Let's I see. Need, I don't need the camera to answer yeah, questions. Yeah, you have to see the questions. You oh. got your glasses on. I don't. I do. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to go into the selfie mode here. I'm going to flip the camera around. Well, and everybody's going to get it. Look at this. A... Here comes this little girly again. Oh, Isn't she cute? Cute. Yes, she <laughs> is. She is a cutie. Yeah. <laughs> How old is she? Oh, I so cute. They, I don't think you understand. <laughs> oh, like the paddle boarders so going by. What a picture, huh? That is beautiful. Kayakers and a paddle boarder. Gorgeous. Well, get yeah. your questions ready for Roy here. I'm going to. Yeah, blue, blue sea. Yeah, blue sky. sky. I'm going to go into the selfie mode here. My hair is all windblown. Hand the camera over to Roy here. Here's your chance to ask our friend Roy some questions. Make him some good ones. Here, Roy. Well, my first question is... Oh, that, you're going to ask them a question? Well, I, no, I want to ask you, does it hurt this camera if I drop it in the sand? Yeah, watch your finger there. <laughs> yeah, don't hit those buttons. Now tilt it down so you can see see your face on it there you go now hey can, who's that old timer yeah uh, can you see the questions there can you see the comments see if anybody asks you any questions well sandy smith roy do you live close to the beach thank you for your service yeah i'm i'm only five minutes away i'm really blessed what is your favorite memory of the beach well i think out here i love it when the dolphins frolic around and leap out of water and i've even them see them shoot straight up out of water and throw the fish just for fun Boy, how are you this morning? Love seeing you. I'm wonderful, thank you. Hi from UK, Richard Davis, Susan Carlton, Donnelly. Hi, Roy. Hi there. Jennifer Ann, how are you doing, Roy? Well, I'm doing great, Jennifer. Looking forward to seeing you. How did you end up living in Naples? Gosh, I don't know. We looked around Florida and figured this is the best place in the whole wide world. <laughs> Sheila says I look great. Well, I don't know about that, but I feel great. <laughs> Where did I grow up? Oh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> Good morning, Janet. <laughs> oh. Hi there, Susan. If you did, I don't know, a smile, whether that means something. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess they stopped coming here, Rob. Everything's set. What happened? Oh, and there's another one. Hi, Roy. When was the last time you visited Michigan? Oh, that was a lot of years ago. I went back to a reunion there and I barged in one of my old engineering professors. He was still there, bent over his desk, and I barged in. I said, hi, uh, remember me? I'm Roy, your old student. And he, he was very kind. He looked up and he said, oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember. I, I don't think he knew me from Adam, but he was nice about it. So good, oh, good, great to get back to the old university. Uh, uh. Hey, best overall advice on this life in general? Hang in there and enjoy the journey. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, married? Well, I was. My wife passed away. She was a wonderful lady. Wonderful lady. So anyway, uh, that, that's, that's about it. Connie Ferrero is watching. Where's your favorite place to eat in Naples? Well, Naples flatbread. I love their salmon salad. It's really great. Being a sailor, whoops, that disappeared. I couldn't read the mess of it. Thank you for the service. You look great. Well, I was an honor to serve, absolute honor. Uh, I never got shot at. I was very lucky, and I think I just helped out, but it was an honor for me to do it. Huh, huh, huh. Well, Gloria says, thanks for talking. Oh, hi, Susan. Hey, I'm glad, Sue. Yeah, I'm walking the beach, and I love it. 
play my sunshine song. I'll have to do that. Lived for 20 years here, back in Peace, Miss Naples. Oops, it disappeared. You laugh, I, she says I laugh like Santa Claus. <laughs> you do. Uh, 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 uh. Heard about assisted home in Venice? No, not really. Well, this is great. All right. There's love from Bonnie. Well, My, I mean, Oh, her father was also in WW2 in Korea. Wow. Hey, the same as me. How about that? You can say, do you ever give Neptune? Whoops, it disappeared. Uh, wow, those, those questions will just keep coming and coming and coming. Hey, but well, we'll do that again. So if he didn't get to your question, Roy will get back to you in our next, in our next visit. But thank you for participating. Now, Roy had a thought for the day. He wanted to share a thought for the day. You yeah, told me yeah, that earlier I this do, morning. As a matter of fact, um, my thought for the day, if I can remember it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Is make every day a no mistake day. Okay. A no mistake day. Now, it's really an important thought. Um, it sounds trivial, but it's really important. When you get up in the morning, you say to yourself, now, I'm gonna make today a no mistake day. And mistakes can be trivial, they can be horrendous. Of course. But uh, even so, you don't even want trivial mistakes. And mistakes have an uh, infinite variety uh, of opportunity, unfortunately. Of course, the biggest one, we've doted on this quite a bit, is driving your car. But uh -huh. uh, you can make a mistake just tripping on the rug. I think we've gone into yeah. that. But I'm talking about other little mistakes like things you say which later on you say oh i wish i hadn't said that mm -hmm. well that's a mistake then mm -hmm. and actually amazingly enough before you say something which is would hurt somebody or you're sorry you said it or something you re revealed about your private life which you shouldn't have revealed or you wish you hadn't all these mm -hmm. things you have a little intuition before mm -hmm. you do it it's amazing and the intuition says, hold on, don't say this, but you go ahead and say right. it anyway. So you gotta follow your intuition. There's something unique about that and mysterious that maybe it's the good law telling you, knock it off. Right. But intuitions are amazing things. So follow your intuition and, and don't make mistakes. Don't say the wrong thing. Don't eat the wrong food. Um, don't have an extra helping. You always have an interest. In intuition, oh, I shouldn't do this, but oh, well, go ahead and you gulp, gulp, gulp. That's a mistake. And then you, later on you say, I wish I hadn't done that. Right. Well, when you have these later on, wish I hadn't, that's a mistake. So you try not to make mistakes. And there's an ultimate variety of them as you <laughs> go through the day. Of course. And so here's the last part of this. What you want to do is be able to tumble into the sack at night and say, in all honesty, I had a no mistake day. Well, that would be something. So that's your endeavor. That's a good goal. Be able to tumble <laughs> into the sack and say to yourself or to God, whoever you converse with, I, or if your wife is still around, which is sure be a blessing with, with her, you say, I had a no mistake day and plop. You, there you go. You go to sleep and you're happy well, and content. I mean, Unfortunately, I think I'll continue to make mistakes. Well, no, you, yeah, well, everybody does, but you try not to. You try not to, and, but more and you can you can accomplish no mistake days if you work yeah, at you it. You got to work at it, but I mean, more, more important than that is learn from your mistakes. Well, oh yeah, sure, every I mean, yeah, no question about you're gonna that. You got to make a mistake, yeah. but when you do, learn from it. Yeah, and, and actually, you you think maybe God gave this unfortunate situation to you so you could learn. Sure. So there's all day. kind of angles to it, but basically you can, if you work at it, tumble into the sack and say you had a no mistake day. Well. See, because the day is all already 10 o'clock. Wow. And knock on wood so far, <laughs> I've had a no mistake well, day. Well, there you go. And uh, talking to you hasn't been a mistake. Nope. <laughs> well, you know, well, we don't know for sure. <laughs> so it's well, that's a, awesome, Roy. Well, it's a delightful thing too. It's a real joy 
to be able to say to yourself, whoopee, I've had a no mistake day. I mean, yep. it's an exuberant thing. It well, isn't a downer, it's an upper. I'm gonna try that. It's we'll an upper. See. Yeah, you haven't, think back, you haven't made any mistakes yet today, have you? Yeah, I did. Well, that's too bad. I've made a couple already okay. today. <laughs> well, then, then <laughs> today is, is, is not... Hopefully I won't make them tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so remember the bad, yep. things you did wrong and say to yourself, okay, tomorrow, not going to do that. Tomorrow is going to be a no mistake day. There you go. So that's the word. I love it. Well, one last thing to do here is break out the old harmonica. <laughs> I don't want to make any mistakes on it. Well, an 80-year-old harmonica, it's bound to have a few sour notes in it. <laughs> that's amazing, though. But I remember somebody requested a song on your harmonica. Really? Didn't, yeah, they said, um, You Are My Sunshine. Love it. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. Thank what you. A great con what a great chat. Great advice. I know well, people I know enjoyed their, advice, it's just their a few thought. minutes there. A thought. Their few minutes of conversing with you there on Facebook. They love that. We're well, going to keep doing that. We're going to do that again next time I'm here. If it's well, okay with you. I always look forward to it, Rob. You're a cheerful, cheery guy, and it's a pleasure and an honor to be on this well, Facebook it's thing. It's my pleasure, and... And everybody enjoys it. I mean, I don't know why they enjoy listening to us, but they do. I, I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Anyhow. But I appreciate them listening. That's very good of them. Bless you all. Bless, Bless them is right. All. I got to get moving along. You have a great day. Tally ho. Uh, tally ho. Yep. Great seeing you. No mistakes today. <laughs> I'll work on it. Okay. <laughs> See you later. God bless. Bye-bye. Bless you. Oh, boy. That was fun. The highlight of my beach walk, chatting with Roy. Absolutely gorgeous Sunday here in North Naples. Look at that water. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time checking out all my photos and videos. Some really beautiful, beautiful photos of the beach and some of the birds and shells and marine life. Search for some of my dolphin encounters here. Incredible, incredible dolphin encounters that Roy and I have had. The sun's coming out, the sky is really clearing up, smoke's starting to blow away. Well, thank you so much for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.